Hey you guys, today we're gonna draw a shark. What are we gonna draw him doing? Coming out of the water. Yeah, attacking something. It's gonna be really scary. Kinda like Jaws. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers, some paper. The paper, something to color with. All right, let's start. Yes. We're first gonna draw his head shape, which is an upside down V. We're gonna start over here on the left and we're gonna come up like this. And then at the very top, we're gonna draw a curved point. So you don't want it to be sharp and then we're going to come back down. But look at the outside, it's, it curves. It's not a straight V, or upside down V. Yeah. And I also drew mine kind of bumpy a little bit to make it look more natural. Good job. And yeah, you can match the other side so they come down to the same length. That's perfect. Yes. Now let's draw his mouth. We're going to draw a big upside down U. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw a big upside down U like this and then come back down on the other side. And I'm even going to draw it coming down even further so we can draw a really big mouth. Yeah, you could, yeah, that's awesome. And then down here we're going to connect the left side over to the right, but it's going to be a smaller upside down U. Perfect. Now up here, let's add a little kind of wrinkle that comes in from his body and we'll do it on the other side too. Looks like eyes and he's like crying or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's draw his eyes so he doesn't look <laughs> like he's crying. I'm going to draw a little curve that comes out like this on the left and also on the right. And we can also color, let's color that shape in on both sides. All right, now let's also give him his nostrils. I'm just going to draw a little, a little shape right here. It's like a little check mark. We can draw it on the other side too. You can just draw a dot to keep it simple. There you go. Just like that. Now what is our shark missing? Teeth. Teeth, yeah. Let's draw, we're gonna draw a zigzag line. I'm gonna start over here on the left. Watch this, now you don't have to draw it exactly like me, but I'm gonna draw some of the teeth really big and some of them small. Cause they're all, it seems like their teeth are all different kinds of sizes and lengths. Some just fell out and some, some are growing in, I mean, and just barely growing in so they're a little smaller or coming forward, they're already in. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are shorter and some of them are, are bigger. Okay, now let's draw a few more of those teeth inside. So we're just gonna draw more Vs, but in between those teeth that we just drew. Because they, they have lots of teeth, right? Yeah. They have uh, multiple rows of teeth. So when one falls out, another one comes in which is one of the craziest things about sharks. Yeah. Yeah, can't they, don't they have like tons and tons and tons of they teeth? They have a lot of teeth, yeah. Well, like, I think they lose, they, they lose several teeth in, even in just one day. Now for each tooth, I'm gonna go in and draw a little curve. Can you see that? Yeah. In between each tooth, I'm gonna draw an upside down U shape so that we can color his gums or the pink tissue that's holding his teeth in to his mouth. Now I forgot, we we only got the top row. We need to draw the bottom row. Yeah. I almost oh, yeah. didn't leave any room for the bottom row. So I'm gonna do the same thing, except this time, the bottom of the teeth are gonna connect to his bottom lip. Jack, your shark looks so awesome with all of those teeth, except what are we missing? The water. Yeah, we're missing the water. And we're gonna draw it splashing around. We're gonna draw him coming out of the water. So let's first start over here. You know, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna add more body on each side so that I can draw the water underneath his mouth. So now we're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a splash. So you don't have to draw this exactly like me. I'm just gonna draw a wiggly line for the water splashing. Yeah, that looks really cool. Now I'm gonna draw that same line, except I'm gonna draw coming out further and coming up and connecting to the top of his, or not the top, but the side of his head. And we can do the same thing over here on this side. I'm gonna draw it splashing. Looks like he's busting out of the water. Okay, now let's draw some splashes or, or water drops coming off of this big splash. So we can just draw upside down raindrops 
and you can put them wherever. You don't have to match exactly where I'm putting all of my little drops. Next, let's add, oh, and I like that you added some splashes or drops down here. I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna add more drops down here, or maybe these are even bubbles. That looks really cool. Okay, and then I also like how you extended, see how the body, yeah, by accident. that's okay. Maybe you can even bring it down a little further. So I'm gonna do that over here on this side and also over here on this side. So you can see his body underneath the water. All and right. it just cuts off. <laughs> yeah, and then it just, we're gonna imagine it fading out. Yeah. Now we're done drawing. What do we need to do next to make it look even better? Color them. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Now this, we are gonna fast forward this part, but at the end you guys can pause it if you wanna match the same color. Ready to fast forward? Yeah! Jack, good job on coloring your shark coming out of the water. Do you think he looks better colored in? Yes. I do too. I think it looks so much better. And I hope you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same color. Now we use our gray colored pencil to add a lot of shading to his face, his head. But you, you can just color him solid to keep this lesson a little easier. Just color the whole thing solid gray. And we also use blue to add some cool shading to our water also, but you can color that solid as well. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your sharks coming out of the water. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.